friends welcome back to my channel my name is Jennifer if you are new here be sure to like subscribe to the channel I recorded this video on February of 2023 I wanted to publish on YouTube and look back at our experience driving across the country as you read from the title of the video we did move to Texas and lived there for three months if you stay until the end of the video, I will explain why we only stayed there for three months. Me, my husband, and our dog, Tater, drove from Tampa, Florida to Texas. Later that evening, we left Tampa, Florida to drive to Texas. We drove through Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, and Texas. First stop, we stopped by the Alabama Welcome Center on I-65 South to use the restroom, stretch our legs. The highlight through was the full size. I love how Alabama include that their Welcome Center. It was very impressive and showcased the area. We were so blessed to travel and see the different states. It was definitely worth the stop along the highway when passing through. Next stop was Louisiana Welcome Center. Off the highway, a nice welcome center. Got there later at night, which was really nice and quiet. Notice when we drove by Louisiana, climate weather started to change. It was a very cold night in the low 30s for February, which was still winter. Last stop was Texas Welcome Center. We finally made it there safely. Wow, this 
was a great experience. This was a great welcome to the Loner Star State. They have done an impressive job. She's riding down lyrics in the back of her truck. Something about finding another way to go home. Her cell phone's ring making the Travel Information Center accessible and a fabulous entry when you walk into the building. There's a great walk over there, a great walk over the bayou. Oh yeah. Just to keep you hanging on. He said all roads lead to Nashville. But there's a diesel train. Thank you. I had so many information about the state of Texas and the people over there in Texas are really friendly and who are seriously wanting to help. Texas is of course the largest state so there's a lot to do here. We did enjoy the visit to the rest stop and we'll definitely stop by here again for our next time when we plan a trip over there to Texas. Overall, it took us two days to arrive at our destination. <laughs> was Bucky's. If you've never heard of Bucky's, it's really popular in Texas. It is American chain country store with a gas station with a lot of food and beverages. This was actually my second experiencing Bucky's now that I went there and visited there. But flashing won't bring you back again. A Tennessee rain starts to fall. There was a lot in there. There were pork sandwich which was great, briskets which was really delicious. There are several selection of jerkies which is mind blowing. This gas station has everything you need when you walk in there. I mean everything. I never seen a place like this. I'm looking forward to my next trip to Bucky's again. Falling on my face. You see I'm driving in whiskey. Always that way With my husband family that day we went to the park located at fisherman's park texas it was a cloudy and breezy day we got there around the afternoon time this park nice trail for your dogs there are so much to do there there were skate park basketball hoops and a small splash pad playground for kiddos <music> The park's main trail is about half a mile with a place to sit. It was peaceful and nice to walk the trail. later while we're in texas we drove to the gas station barbecue restaurant called the we slaughter located in bastrop texas opens tuesday through sunday from 10 a.m to 7 p.m and they close on mondays you can stop in for a mouth watering of barbecue shop for horror movies so when you enter you can shop when we got there we heard so many great reviews about it you can stop in for mouth watering barbecue shop for horror merchandise you can even check out their special events where you can stay the night in one of their cabins this was my first experience going there my husband been there before so we stopped by because of the film history with this place 
Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. If you are a big fan of horror movies, especially the popular ones, I got there, I tried a chopped barbecue sandwich from their kitchen and it was fantastic. Inside the gas station was a sight behold. Everything related to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They filmed the movie there. It was really cool and amazing. The crew was very laid back and it's definitely a small town but it was a lot of historical sight to see in addition to the horror movie texas chainsaw massacre will definitely recommend it if you're in the bastrop area <laughs> Magnolia Market, which was located in Waco, Texas. When you first arrive there, it's actually free interest. There's no charge of going there. It was a beautiful day. We went there early spring. We did expect it, a lot of crowds. The market is a central open park surrounding stores, baking, and food trucks. Its setup was beautifully. The store is beautifully decorated with overpriced home goods which was really not in our budget but we just came to just experience and look at all the models they have we walked out empty-handed just look around we visit each of the shop we were there to have something to do just to check it out they had a lot of option for their fruit trucks a lot of food there it was a pretty hot day for early spring ton of sitting area to eat great experience <laughs> Spice Village located in Waco, Texas. Spice Village is one of the largest store with over 60 shops under one roof. Historic Waco, the variety of shops, apparel, accessory, home decor, and vintage finds. I think for everyone for sure. Also have a few restaurants within the same building. It is a great experience to swing by. <laughs> I'm truly grateful to experience the drive through the state Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, and Texas. At the beginning of the video, I wanted to explain about after praying, I felt like Texas wasn't our home yet. But we do have family members out there and we'll be going back and visiting everyone because originally I'm from Florida, born and raised, which I wasn't motivated. I felt depressed and sad being away from my family. That's one of the reasons why we decided to stay there for a few months so on the next video i did film a video driving back from texas to florida so be on the lookout for that video thank you so much for watching be sure to like subscribe and comment until next time bye friends